Zimmer, WebSense Technical Writer. Thanks for tuning in. Today you'll see the simplest way of configuring your Cisco PIX or ASA firewall appliance so that it integrates with WebSense Web Filter and Web Security. We'll assume that you've already installed your Cisco appliance and WebSense modules. You should also have handy the IP address of your WebSense filtering service machine. Let's get started. Confirm that you've previously selected PIX or ASA as your integration product when you installed WebSense Filtering Service. This allows Filtering Service to perform URL lookups for your PIX or ASA appliance. Next, use Telnet to log on to your Cisco appliance. Then type Enable and your password to enter Exec Mode. Now type Configure Terminal. Enter the URL server command to enable specific switches and identify the location of WebSense filtering service in your network. The host IP address you see here is an example. You'll use the IP address for your WebSense filtering service machine. The URL server command identifies the interface closest to filtering service. Decide which clients and protocols you'd like to filter, HTTP, HTTPS, or FTP. Using the filter URL command, you can define filter statements for all clients to all destinations or specific client subnets to specific destinations. In our example, the filtering protocol is HTTP, and the four zeros identify all requests going to any destination IP address. For examples of specific IP ranges, see the resource at the end of this video. It is best practice to optimize the communications between the firewall appliance and filtering service by adding the URL mempool, URL size, and block commands to the configuration. Finally, for 7.x and newer firmware, Cisco has changed the communication behavior to use persistent connections with URL filtering servers. You need to add the PIX connection parameter in your eimserver.ini file located in the WebSense bin directory. It should say, PIX connection equals false to prevent premature connection closures with the PIX or ASA firewall. If you have web servers hosted in your DMZ, you'll need to exclude them from filtering using the filter URL accept command. The default WebSense policy will now filter users. Check that the filtering is working by browsing to a website that should be blocked. For more detailed information on Cisco integration and WebSense, visit our technical library on WebSense.com and search for Cisco Integration Configuration. Thanks for watching.